possibility of scattered showers. And you know, we may also see more in the way of lake effect snow, some of those lake effect prone areas. But the good news is it's not going to be big accumulations. We don't think we're going to see a foot of snow in some locations and two feet of snow in others. No, this time around, it's probably just going to add up to about an inch to maybe three inches, and that will do it. Now, some really isolated areas could wind up with as much as three to six inches of snow, but that's going to be about it. And those areas could be including Buffalo. So just want to give you a heads up there. Otherwise, from Pittsburgh down through Charleston, West Virginia, and into parts of Virginia, you may see about an inch or two, maybe three inches of snow. Do expect some scattered rain showers to move on across parts of California, as well as Oregon, into Washington State. Idaho will see a little bit in the way of snow, too. In fact, we're thinking that your accumulations will be a little bit heavier, maybe as much as three to six inches of snow in some of those higher elevations. You could uh, prove to be a little bit more than that. Now, as we look at the current situation, we can tell you that Yes, we do find the much colder temperatures diving southward from Canada. So look at how much colder it is today than, let's say, last week at this time. You were in the 50s last week in Minneapolis. Right now, you're only 5 degrees, and you factor in the wind, and it feels like 11 below. So obviously, it's a very cold day, in fact, dangerously cold. How long will that last? Here's a look at your forecast with Rich. All right, let's check out our forecast around the nation, and we have a little setup here for some snow uh, back over across the northwest, maybe a solid three to six inches areas of the Bittery chain of uh, the snow in the east. Yes, still some lake effect coming down in the Appalachians to please the skiers. You'll find some snow too. Here's your precip forecast generally to the east light amounts an inch or two heavier amounts back over toward the Sawtooth, uh, maybe Sun Valley up uh, picking up a solid three to six. Tuesday forecast highs close to average in the south. Lots of 50s and 60s South Florida close to 70. And back over towards Chicago and Detroit, you'll be in the 20s, farther north though, not chillier, in the teens and single digits, which is a little bit below average. Overnight lows, pretty cold in northern Maine, minus teens. 20s from Raleigh all the way back over to Wichita, 40s and 30s all the way down to the south. Let's check out our skiers forecast. And first of all, a few uh, resorts uh, here. Let's see what's going on. Back over to Mount Snow, Haystack, Pack Powder. Likewise, it's Stowe and Loon Mountain. Everybody reporting nice solid bases, even some new snow being reported. Head back over to Snowshoe, upwards of 57 trails, a pack powder camelback, and Boyne reporting uh, powder up to an 82 inch base. Nice solid base for you. Keystone looking at pack powder, oh, plenty of base, uh, heavenly pack powder, pack powder also at Beaver Creek. Notice all the ski resorts of Northeast. Midwest, now western United States, looking solid all the way over at Mammoth. A report this morning, no new snow, but there's a base of 108 inches, so a nice solid foundation for the skiers. Copper Mountain and Taos also looking at solid bases of about four to five feet. And packed powder is being reported for you on 100% of the mountain open at Taos. Here's our forecast for snowfall predictions. Still some lake effect. And Yes, there's some of the cross-country ski areas up across uh, the Great Lakes. And farther south, though, uh, it looks like Snowshoe will be picking up a few more inches of snow. And ski country uh, south of Buffalo may get a little bit more snow, too. Back over to the northwest. This is where the heaviest of the snow will fall. Nothing huge, but a nice solid three to six inches to help out with the powder skiing. Check out these reports on some additional resorts uh, around the country. Then come back. We have a look at your local needs and more on today's weather. When you're away from your television, check out the skiers forecast on the World Wide Web at weather.com. We'll provide you with easy access to the latest ski conditions and even webcam views of selected resorts around the country. That's skiers forecast from the Weather Channel at weather.com or America online keyword weather. Attention Medicare beneficiaries. Do you use an inhaler? Do you still have problems breathing? Do you use albuterol or other respiratory medications? If so, Medicare may cover a more effective liquid breathing medication. Call Star Medical at 1-800-530-0843. Call today to see if you qualify at 1-800-530-0843. Call now. Brilliant performance. It's the Kiwi Express Sponge, the only sponge equipped with a unique liquid reservoir that always delivers a brilliant shine. The Kiwi Express Sponge, a brilliant shine every time. 
What do I taste in blueberry morning cereal? Summers in Maine, when I was a little girl. I think I had a purple tongue the whole summer long. Blueberry Morning. It's one of the Post Selects. He's just terrific, and he's brought uh, kind of a reptilian sense of uh, balance uh, to business that I think was missing from our uh, warm-blooded uh, employees before. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Sometimes when we turn Why do people love Geico? The honesty is too much And I have to close my eyes Because 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Can your nails do this and not break? They can with Nutranail Power Gel. It makes natural nails hard as wraps to prevent nail breakage. Nutranail Power Gel. Okay, go! It's tracking your body. When your body heat rises, re-engineered degree kicks in in the clutch. Tonight at ATF, brace yourself for storm stories. Stranded. This guy was no nowhere. One man lost at sea for four months. It was just absolutely amazing. Find out how he survived the elements. Plus, see how Hurricane Hugo. A lot of people lost everything I had. Brought South Carolina to its knees. The water came just like you were standing in front of a fire hydrant. Watch a new series from the Weather Channel. Storm Stories, tonight at 8 p.m. Storm Stories, tonight at 8 on the Weather Channel. And now, here's your local on the 8s. are partly cloudy in Miami today. The rain that you saw earlier this morning has moved out. It'll continue to be nice today. High temperature around the low 70s. Sunshine and warmer temps are on the way tomorrow. But it's cold for you in Cincinnati and it's been snowing at least a little bit. Snow is now over. Your high temperature will just barely make it to the low 30s. Hello and welcome to Weather Center. I'm Rich Johnson. And I'm Janetta Jones. There's no major winter storm across the United States, but brutally cold temperatures have moved in in the Midwest as well as the Northeast. And that's where we begin our look across the nation. And you can see we have a little bit of light snow, some lake effect kind of kicking in for you folks in Buffalo. That's where we're expecting the biggest accumulations. Otherwise, don't think we're going to have any monster storm on our hands. So that's some good news. What we will find will be some 
some light snow showers across Ohio and Pennsylvania and West Virginia with just about an inch or two of accumulation. Otherwise, uh, nothing to worry about. Now, temperatures not checking in as well as we would like, but you get the picture that it's mighty cold in Burlington. These uh, readings are in the teens and the single digits with 20s in Boston and New York City and Philadelphia. I want to take you to Boston where we have been finding some very, very chilly conditions. In fact, when you factor in the wind, it has felt like 10. Last time I checked, the wind chill was about 10 or 11. Ouch, that is cold. We're expecting that it's going to stay chilly all day long, at least you'll have some sunshine, but with those winds gusting up to 20, 25 miles per hour, that makes it feel nasty out there. Now your forecast for tonight calls for just some snow showers across West Virginia and Pennsylvania, and that will be the case even tomorrow morning. The big city should be fine, and it may even warm up a little bit tomorrow. In fact, count on it. It's staying in the 20s, however, in Boston, and only about 16, the best we can do for you tomorrow in Burlington with more snow showers. So definitely a taste of winter there. How about the south? Here's Rich. Okay, let's look at the weather in the south, and it's pretty nice today, uh, considering yesterday is a little bit cool. Today's warming up just a touch. It's warming up to the 50s in Atlanta, almost 50 for you in Birmingham. If you look at the colors here, 60s in South Florida, yellow representing 60s. That's some 40s from Oklahoma City, minus over to around Little Rock. The south, the satellite photographs showing clear skies in New Orleans, Tallahassee, Jacksonville, right up to Charleston. Still over to Houston, though, and Shreveport. Plenty of clouds sticking around, although hardly anything in the way of rain. Not much at all. Today we're looking great. Uh, picture for the forecast, we cold front heading through, maybe uh, strengthening some of the chilly air just a touch. Not anything big, though. Temperatures tomorrow, a little bit chilly. Memphis at 40, 59. That's a little bit cool for you in New Orleans. It's the next day everybody wants to know about. Is it going to snow in the south? Well, we think yes, at least some. Probably the best shot would be maybe parts of northern Arkansas through Tennessee, then eventually to North Carolina Friday. But places like northern Mississippi, Alabama, rain changing over to snow, we think, some snow, then that may happen in North Georgia Thursday night. No accumulations yet, still a little bit too early for that, even though I know everybody wants to know how much snow is going to fall. Now let's head to the Midwest. All right, as we take you to the Midwest, we can tell you about uh, some snowflakes this morning. In Cleveland, you may see a few more light snow showers, but it's not going to amount to much. It, breezy conditions making it feel kind of chilly with wind chills in the single digits to the teens. It's all pretty common for this time of year, and you're expecting more of that tomorrow. Temperatures, very cold. Much, much colder than average. Minneapolis, you're in the single digits. As you factor in the wind, which is gusting up to 20 miles per hour in some locations a little higher than that, it feels even colder. I know the numbers are not here, but trust me, it feels like it's below zero in Minneapolis and Fargo and International Falls. It feels like it's in the single digits in Chicago. And with that said, know that it's going to stay cold all day today and tomorrow, but slowly warming back to about average for this time of year as we get into Thursday. Now by Saturday and Sunday, it's going to stay a little on the chilly side little nippy for you. As we head into the afternoon and evening hours, don't expect big accumulations with the snow. Your forecast today calls for cold stuff. Kansas City and St. Louis even getting into the act. And then things start to change. Another system rolls out and we'll see more snow that bears watching into Omaha as well as Kansas City. What's going on in the west? Here's Rich. In the west, we have a little storm starting to brew back over toward well, the Pacific Northwest. We're showing areas of high pressure, but there's a lot of the jet stream energy in the form of some clouds and rain and snow coming into the northwest and eventually that will be the storm that heads toward the plains. It's cold in Montana but many other areas just fine. It's in the 60s southern Arizona. It's in the 50s down to around LA for you and Denver still in the 30s. Uh, your forecast looking like this where it should be mild today then chill down especially by Thursday then into Friday and Saturday close to seasonal averages, back to the 40s. Our satellite photographs showing plenty of clouds, California, and then right into the interior sections. You can see uh, green representing some rain in Northern California, back into Oregon, but into the Bitterroot chain, we may find considerably uh, more in the way of snow. And that's the way our forecast is looking, right into our Tuesday in the West, where we'll find more in the way of snow heading to the Western United States. 
Still to come here on the Weather Channel, first we'll check out the travel conditions and travel wise. At 44 after the hour, we'll help you with your plans for Saturday and Sunday and weekend outlook. Then at 50 after the hour, it's storm watch and we'll head to the islands where a deadly tropical cyclone is creating winds of around 125 miles per hour. The latest pictures of Amy are just ahead, but first of all, it's your local on the 8s. Attention Medicare beneficiaries. Do you use an inhaler? Do you still have problems breathing? Do you use albuterol or other respiratory medications? If so, Medicare may cover a more effective liquid breathing medication. Call Star Medical at 1-800-530-0843. Call today to see if you qualify at 1-800-530-0843. Call now. Grandpa, how come you always chug your mini measles? Because if Grandpa doesn't drink his fiber fast, he gets thick and gritty. Mommy doesn't chug her fiber? That's because Mommy found an easier way to take fiber. Benefiber. Benefiber? It never gets thick and gritty like Metamucil can. So Mommy doesn't have to check it. Benefiber's taste free too. Mommy can even put it in her coffee or yogurt. Mommy's pretty smart. <laughs> Benefiber makes taking fiber easier. Your pet's same exact heartworm and flea medications delivered to your home, saving you time and money. It costs less than buying from my veterinarian. It only takes a phone call. I saved a visit to my vet's office. I didn't have to leave home. Pet Meds delivers my pet's medication right to my door. It's cheaper and more convenient than buying from my vet. I save time and money. 1-800-PET-MEDS. We deliver savings and convenience on HeartGuard, Advantage, Frontline, and all other pet medications. Call to order now or order online. Storm Stories, tonight at 8 on the Weather Channel. And now, here's your local on the 8s. Welcome back to Travel Wise. Let's travel from a bitterly cold northeast and midwest and head to the warmer Southern California coast. Now, the morning commute in LA was hampered by some patchy fog for the second straight morning, but that's since uh, evaporated. Made way for partly cloudy skies and mild temperatures. What can we expect for LA? If you have travel plans to Los Angeles or if you live there, here's your forecast. Today, uh, we start out with a little bit of fog in the area. But look at the rest of the week. Uh, nothing too warm like we had with those Santa Ana winds. I think that was a little bit too warm for all of us. A uh, very pleasant 70s the rest of the week. As we look at around the rest of the country, a sort of a quiet day today. Some snow in the Ohio Valley into Florida. A little bit chilly around Orlando. 64 degrees. Not bad, though. Not bad. Uh, partly cloudy skies, what we're looking at. Here's your situation. Around the nation, we have some of the flurries heading across the Appalachians. Some of that snow may try to make its way over to northern Virginia and maybe back over to around D.C. We're not expecting too much, though. Travel weather around the country actually looking pretty good. If you're heading to the airport or just hopping in the car in the northeast, 
not much more in the way of snow. The airport's looking fine. No delays being reported from Newark right over to JFK, LaGuardia, and Boston. Latest radar, though, still showing a little bit of uh, lake banding here, lake snow off to the south of Lake Ontario. We have some snow uh, trying to make its way into Virginia, too. Into Pennsylvania, maybe a flurry or two, especially the southwestern part of the state. Some minor accumulations if you're taking the PA Turnpike, uh, the western part may uh, you might see just a little snow. Into the Midwest, still some lake effect snow coming down, but that's not hampering any of the air travel. No delays at the major hubs. Into Michigan, similar to yesterday, lake snow coming down. The Ohio Valley, you're getting some lake snow. And look back into Kentucky. Yeah, you still have some light snow falling and right up along the Ohio River, really. So we do have some snow. Not too much, but just a little bit. In the southern states, uh, again, air hubs looking fine. Atlanta fine, in Miami, all the way up to the mid-Atlantic, uh, Reagan National, no delays. One or two rain showers down to the Keys. Nothing big here. But notice in Virginia, we're showing some mixed precipitation and snow. I would think all of this is evaporating before it hits the ground. But later today, maybe uh, D.C. to Baltimore, it's possible you could get up to a dusting of snow. It's possible. Into the western United States, checking the airport. Still 25-minute delays at San Francisco, Phoenix, L.A., uh, Denver, all looking fine. Uh, latest look at the radar, though, showing some rain in California, Oregon, and some snow for the skiers in the Northern Rock. This program was brought to you by Walt Disney World. Come celebrate 100 years of magic and share a dream come true. Hello? Congratulations, Dad. Or should I say, Grandpa? Grandpa. So what's his name? Maggie. His name's Maggie? Grandpa! Come on, Grandpa! Maggie, there's a place where magic lives. To get there with your grandkids, visit DisneyWorld.com. Attention Medicare beneficiaries. Do you use an inhaler? Do you still have problems breathing? Do you use albuterol or other respiratory medications? If so, Medicare may cover a more effective liquid breathing medication. Call Star Medical at 1-800-530-0843. Call today to see if you qualify at 1-800-530-0843. Call now. Here's your weekend outlook. What's going on by the weekend? Well, you know what? There's going to be some snow on the ground by the weekend, even to parts of the southern states. Exactly where this storm goes, not 100% sure, but uh, looking at the uh, forecast right now, maybe parts of North Carolina and Tennessee, maybe even northern parts of the Gulf Coastal states may have a little bit of snow come Saturday morning. Notice forecast highs in the 30s. It's going to be cold, too, with that north wind blowing. 20s in Chicago and Detroit. Back over to Pittsburgh and Buffalo, 20s. Much milder in L.A. and Phoenix. It'll be in the 70s. Here's your Saturday forecast. Any of the snow from this southern storm should be out the sea. That storm moving away. Another disturbance coming down, though, maybe bringing snow to Des Moines, Chicago, right over to St. Louis. Snow showers, the way it's looking this time. And for some of the ski resort areas in the Midwest, up some snow, too, in Michigan, Wisconsin. Still some fog in the west with a ridge of high pressure. Into Sunday, the south, staying dry, but to the north, next little uh, disturbance coming through. And widespread area snow, but it should be generally just snow showers. We're starting to get into a pattern which, believe it or not, is typical this time of year. We're so used to all of these warm patterns here. We don't know what a real winter is like, it seems like. Looking at the forecast the next week, even two weeks you can look out, there's a trend for still more of these cold air masses to continue to drop down from Canada. Well, Sunday, that's what we'll find again. Some chilly air to the north and some snow showers with it. Highs on Sunday, 20s all the way down to the Ohio Valley. A pleasant in Texas, 60s, a few 50s, still 70s, though, from near L.A. to Phoenix. For you in the northeast, uh, near freezing Boston, New York City, down to Philadelphia. Coming up next, we'll talk much more about tropical cyclone Amy and have a look at Stormwatch with Janetta. Tonight at 8 p.m. When I heard that sound, I thought we were in big trouble. A new series. We got people trapped underneath the roof. Storm Stories, only on the Weather Channel. Brace yourself. 
For all the bumps and bruises, for all the bells and whistles, this is the battery you need. New Die Hard SUV truck and van. Designed specifically for the demands of today's SUV truck or van, it resists vibration with epoxy bonding and grid paneling, delivers startup dependability, and comes with a three-year full replacement limited warranty. No wonder Die Hard is America's most preferred battery. So call for a free Die Hard SUV truck and van brochure, plus a $5 coupon. And for installation as reliable as the battery, head to the place that knows Die Hard. Die Hard Express, only at Sears Auto Center. You'll get expert service and be in and out fast. Today's vehicle demands a lot. So power on with the name you know. Die Hard SUV truck and van. At ATM. Brace yourself for storm stories. Stranded. This guy was no nowhere. One man lost at sea for four months. It was just absolutely amazing. Find out how he survived the elements. Plus, see how Hurricane Hugo. A lot of people lost everything I had. Brought South Carolina to its knees. The water came just like you were standing in front of a fire hydrant. Watch a new series from the Weather Channel. Storm stories tonight at ATM. Listen, I'm not a salesman. I've worked for Stars for over eight years, and I want to tell you, Star Super Pack truly is number one in new hit movies. It's not just a slogan. Movies like Monsters, Inc. Tell me, you joke. The Rookie. John Q and The Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring. Understand, at Stars, we're just movies. Hollywood's big new hit movies shown only on the Star Super Pack on 12 different movie channels for $12 or less a month. So if it's movies you want, get the Star Super Pack. That's what I'm talking about. DirecTV is proud to bring you another Freeview event. This band is one of the most dynamic performers on the jam band music scene. Widespread Panic. Look for their upcoming DVD and be a part of the ever-building Panic experience as they light up the Texas skyline with this exclusive presentation. Don't miss this exciting DirecTV Freeview event every weekend this month and New Year's Day on Channel 103. Eight on the Weather Channel. And now, here's your local on the eights. Welcome back to Stormwatch. I'm Janetta Jones. Tropical Cyclone Amy made landfall early today on the island of Tonga. Winds that had been as strong as 125 miles per hour downed numerous power lines and phone lines. Debris flapped in the wind and made it very difficult to navigate the local streets. The cyclone had hit the islands of Fiji on Monday, leaving two children feared dead and many buildings destroyed. Amy is believed to be the worst cyclone to hit this area in 15 years. 
Well, now I'm glad to say that Amy is out over the open waters. It's getting stronger now that it's over the water. In fact, winds are up to 140, 145 miles per hour, but it's expected to weaken gradually and not affect land anytime soon. So that's good news. We'd like to invite you to tune into a new program here on the Weather Channel every weeknight at 8 p.m. Eastern and Pacific. It's called Storm Stories. These are true stories of folks who have witnessed weather like the cyclone in Tonga at its worst. Tonight at 8, an incredible story of survival at sea. A California man finds his boating skills sorely tested when he drifts off course during some bad weather. It's a modern day Gilligan's Island. Catch Storm Stories weeknights at 8 Eastern and Pacific. You can also take the Storm Stories Challenge where you're invited to step into the shoes of the people caught in do or die weather conditions. See if you can make the decisions that these storm survivors had to make. Just log on to weather.com slash storm stories. Well, let's take a look at what's happening right now across the country and we can tell you that we are finding a few snow showers across parts of the Great Lakes and we're also finding some rain moving into parts of California. But that's going to be about your only big bugaboos across the country. In fact, we're talking about high pressure and control for many locations and a bigger story would have to be the colder air that's starting to dive southward. It includes the Midwest, the Great Lakes, and the Northeast, where it feels bone chilling out there. And that cold air is going to start spreading all the way down into the deep south, too. Now, as you look at this radar, actually, the bark is a little worse than the bite. But we are finding some light snow showers in places like West Virginia and Pennsylvania and also Ohio. But don't expect big accumulations, maybe an inch or two. And that's going to be about it. The big cities should be fine. We're not anticipating any precipitation here to be accumulated at all. In the southeast, a lot of this not reaching the ground, so you don't have to worry. Even the rain in southern Florida has tapered off, so you don't have to worry about that either. And temperatures are pretty nice across the southeast today. Enjoy that while you can. As we move to the Midwest, this is where the bulk of the cold air is being found. And we're also seeing some light snow showers across parts of Ohio, but again, no big accumulations. In the southwest, things are relatively quiet. We are finding some rain, however, moving into parts of California as well as Oregon. May see some scattered showers here, probably not going to see huge accumulations. In fact, here's a look at what we're going to be finding. Maybe about one to three inch accumulations in the Cascades, a little bit more in the Bitterroot chain, probably about three to six inches of snow there. And otherwise, in parts of the Great Lakes, maybe three to six inches, but uh, we think you're probably just going to get light dusting in most locales. Now, the temperatures are not coming in as well as I would like, but I do want to demonstrate that that really cold air is already in place. It's one, for example, in Bismarck. It's in the single digits in Minneapolis. Last time I checked, it was between five and eight degrees. So <laughs> not a real great situation for you. And then when you factor in the wind, it feels even colder. Temperatures are feeling more like they're in the single digits in Minneapolis. Feels like it's in the teens in Cleveland. You're getting the picture. In Chicago, it feels like it's in the teens, even though uh, your actual temperature is in the 20s at this point. So as we factor in the wind, you get the idea that those wind chills are dangerously cold across the upper Midwest and even into the Northeast, you're finding some wind chills in the teens from Boston into New York City. And it feels mighty chilly even into Washington, D.C. So notice those dangerous cold wind chills all the way southward into Minneapolis. Now, your forecast calls for a fairly quiet weather pattern in the east with just those light snow showers. You may find a little bit more in the way of rain in the northwest. And then tomorrow morning, the northwest clears out, but the snow continues across the Intermountain West. And that will be our next big story. Brilliant performance. It's the Kiwi Express Sponge, the only sponge equipped with a unique liquid reservoir that always delivers a brilliant shine. The Kiwi Express Sponge, a brilliant shine every time. This is Halls. And this is New Halls Fruit Breezers. A whole new taste sensation from Halls that'll give your dry, scratchy throat a cooling lift. New Halls Fruit Breezers. Treat your throat. I have asthma. I also have two brothers and a dog, Max, and friends I hang out with. I don't want to miss out because of my asthma. 
Singulair can help you control your child's asthma. Singulair is not a steroid, and it's not an inhaler. It's a different kind of asthma controller. It's a once-a-day cherry chewable tablet that can help control your child's asthma for a full 24 hours. Singulair is available for children two years and older, and also for adults. Singulair should not be used to treat acute asthma attacks. Your child should continue taking their other asthma medicines unless their doctor tells you to stop or change the dose. If symptoms get worse, contact your child's doctor at once. Side effects are generally mild and vary by age and may include headache, flu, runny nose, and ear infection. For more information about Singulair, ask your child's doctor. And ask about adding once a day Singulair. Singulair, asthma control that can help you both breathe easier. At Lux Air Heating and Air Conditioning, when we deliver and install a new home comfort system, we're also delivering a whole lot more. Through our partnership with the Make-A-Wish Foundation, we're helping make wishes come true for children with life-threatening illnesses all across the country. It's just part of our performance promise to the families and communities we serve. For the dealer near you, call 1-800-LUXAIR. Luxair, setting the performance standard. <laughs> Looks like heartburn. Showtime! Wait, look! They don't just have heartburn. They also have pressure and bloating. That's gas. Oh, oh no. no! Sorry, guys. They need more than just heartburn relief. They need me! Hey, Mailbox Max! When you have it all, treat it all! You bet. Fast heartburn relief plus strong gas relief. That's Maylox Max. Thanks, Max. Just doing my job. Maylox Max. When you have it all, treat it all. Get personalized weather alerts from the Weather Channel. Delivered anytime, anywhere. Be informed. Be prepared. Get notified at weather.com slash notify. The Weather Channel is brought to you by this cable or satellite provider. You can also get reliable forecasts from the Weather Channel through this newspaper. At ATM. Brace yourself for storm stories. Stranded. This guy was no nowhere. One man lost at sea for four months. That was just absolutely amazing. Find out how he survived the elements. Plus, see how Hurricane Hugo. A lot of people lost everything I had. Brought South Carolina to its knees. The water came just like you were standing in front of a fire hydrant. Watch a new series from the Weather Channel. Storm Stories, tonight at ATM. Storm Stories, tonight at 8 on the Weather Channel. And now, here's your local on the 8s. Watching the Weather Channel. Live by it.
Although we do have some rain again today in the Pacific Northwest, that storm system will traverse its way across the country the next several days. Details on that coming up. Also, we're watching snow over the lower Great Lakes move into parts of the Ohio Valley and light rain just off the coast of South Florida. Vivian, it's been a very windy day in Boston. It's clear and we are seeing lots of sunshine, very pretty to look at, but the wind gusts up to 25 miles per hour. It makes it feel a whole lot colder outside. The wind chills have been making it feel like we are in the single digits. Mm -hmm. Hello and welcome to Weather Center. I'm inside. Lisa Moser. <laughs> and hello, I'm Vivian Brown. Thanks for joining us. We'll talk more about the cold weather invading parts of the Midwest. First of all, though, let's focus a little bit more on the cold weather that's in place over the Northeast. Not only in Boston, but back across New York City, we have some pretty chilly air. The snow, though, is confined to western areas of New York City, like in the near the Niagara frontier over western Pennsylvania into West Virginia. This snow continues to wisp off to the south and east. A little closer inspection shows some snow at this hour in the Pittsburgh area, Youngstown, Ohio. Again, this continues to swing off toward the south and east. We're watching you, D.C., as well as Baltimore, because we've had some snow showers to move into the area. Not expecting much in the way of heavy accumulations for you, but back across some of the higher elevated areas of West Virginia, we could pick up some pretty decent amounts. And the eastern parts of Kentucky, this is about the western extent of that precipitation. Here's a look at now how much we're expecting one to three inch accumulations for the most part. Parts of West Virginia, the westernmost areas of the state of Virginia, back across the Niagara frontier. And with winds blowing off of Lakes Superior and Michigan, we could find several inches of snow across the lower peninsula. As you look at the current scenario, again, it's pretty quiet for the immediate areas here along the coast, Boston, New York, Philadelphia. But it is very cold as we have temperatures only in the teens at this hour, officially reporting this hour in Philadelphia, 29 degrees, 17 in Bangor. But when you factor in the winds, and they've been a little blustery out of the north and west, it feels like only one in Bangor and 22 in Philadelphia. So definitely feeling the colder air in place. And tomorrow, just another cold one for your hump day. But we're expecting partly cloudy skies with a bulk of the snow, again, closer to the lakes. That's a look at the northeast. Now let's check on parts of the deep south with Lisa. Well, we're faring a lot better across the south. You know, over the course of the weekend, we had uh, some very cold air to push into uh, parts of the south and southeast. That air mass is modifying. Uh, as you may recall, on Sunday, it was snowing in the Dallas area. We saw some sunshine yesterday. A little bit of low-level cloud cover still in place over the low Mississippi Valley area. So Shreveport, pretty cloudy, but uh, the Dallas-Fort Worth area seen partly cloudy skies. Pretty sunny today in Birmingham, Alabama, and Montgomery, Atlanta also. We do have some cloud cover associated with a subtropical jet still clipping the extreme southern part of Florida. And yes, earlier today, we actually did see uh, some rain in the vicinity, but that's ended. And the temperatures are rebounding. Miami, it's currently 67 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. It's still a little wet in some spots, but as we see this cloud cover continue to break apart, look out, tomorrow is going to be a little drier and also some sunshine in the forecast for you. Let's take a look at the current temperatures. We're having a few problems with them, but you can see 49 right now in Birmingham, Alabama. 52, very comfortable right now in Atlanta. Did I mention that the wind is fairly light? That makes it quite comfortable to be outside in Miami where it's currently 67 degrees. Tomorrow, a little warmer for you in Miami. The high temperature 74, but some colder air is on the way for parts of the south. We're going to say 47 for the high temperature for Atlanta, 40 also for Memphis, but a nice day in New Orleans, 59 the afternoon high temperature. The forecast for Thursday looks a bit troubling. We may be looking at some snow or a mix of some sleet and snow. We'll talk more about this in the extended forecast. A, will, a very quick check on the extended forecast for Atlanta shows some snow maybe Thursday night into Friday. Oh yeah, let's go to the Midwest. Back to Vivian. Well, yeah, over the Midwest, parts of this region, we've been dodging snowflakes throughout the day in Cincinnati. The snow has been very light. You'll probably see it all day, though. Your afternoon high expected to hit the low 30s. It's going to be a little colder as we go deeper into the evening hours. Again, you can still see some uh, white stuff on some of the roadways and certainly the grassy areas around Cincinnati as we've been watching, again, this little impulse move across the southern Ohio Valley. Other than that, we're finding the snow across the northern part of lower Michigan.
Michigan, mainly from Traverse City to Alpena, and right across the western parts of lower Michigan from Muskegon and Kalamazoo. Here we're expecting the heaviest accumulating snow, one to three inches, and perhaps over the Keweenaw Peninsula, well actually the eastern parts of the upper peninsula of Michigan could pick up some heavier amounts. Uh, all of the temperatures are not reporting at this hour, but you can see the isotherms here, the teens stretching from southern Wisconsin, northern Illinois, back into the central parts of Iowa, and then we pick up 20s here from St. Louis, and even some 30s down toward Cape Girardeau, Missouri. So very, very cold air in place. We will watch the bulk of these winds kind of shift off to the east over the Great Lakes, so still finding lake effect snows off of Lake Superior and Lake Michigan. But we'll start to focus our attention on this next storm system now coming out of the Rockies, spreading into the plains tomorrow. Omaha looking for snow. We'll keep you posted. Now let's check on parts of the West with Lisa. Well, as Vivian noted, there's some energy that's going to be pulling away from the Rockies. And even though we've had temperatures well above average for several, several days across the Denver high country, we are looking at temperatures that will be taking a dip on Thursday. Now the high temperature today around 51, the average temperature 43. We rebound after that system does pull away from the Denver vicinity. That's because a big ridge is going to hold on to much of the West, not only for this week, but even as we go into next week. Currently in Denver, it's 35 degrees out there. An onshore flow keeping some rain in and around the Eureka, California area, but it's going to lighten up. We'll talk more about this the next seven days coming up. But first, locals on the eights. Pittsburgh Steeler Jerome Bettis and his mom serve Garrett Hill Campbell's Chunky Chicken Noodle, loaded with more wholesome chicken than before. Filled up right by a great bowl, Garrett went on to bowl great. Can your nails do this and not break? They can with Nutranail Power Gel. It makes natural nails hard as wraps to prevent nail breakage. Nutranail Power Gel. Today we're going to see how a customer order turns into their perfect PC. All the orders come in here. Don't forget the website. I mean, all the orders come in either here or the website. I put it all together. Big old hard drive, extra memory for performance, CD burner. Don't touch that. Every machine's a custom job. They call you the customizer? No, they don't. After testing, I pack it up and ship it out. An award-winning 24-7 service and support goes with it. Happy trails, little buddy. Hope S. Jackson gives you a good home. Get America's favorite PC, like this Dimension desktop for just $6.49, featuring an Intel Pentium 4 processor for awesome performance for today's digital entertainment, recording music, sharing photos, gaming, and beyond. And for a limited time, you'll get free shipping. Get great deals on notebooks, too. Dude, we're getting another Dell. Sweet. When you want your perfect PC, it's easy as Dell. Dell PCs use Intel Pentium 4 processors. Storm Stories, tonight at 8 on the Weather Channel. And now, here's your local on the 8s.
Hello and welcome back. It is now about 10 minutes after the hour. Time for the Weekly Planner. We'll take a look at that forecast in just a moment. But first, western New York State has been hit with uh, the past couple of days, actually, with plenty of lake effect snow. Finally, a bit of a break today in Oswego County, northwest of Syracuse on Lake Ontario. Light snow is falling in some areas, but nothing like the more than four feet of snow you've seen over the past couple of days. Snow combined with 40 mile an hour winds caused near whiteout conditions over the area. Now, weather like that can often lead to what we commonly call the winter blues, but it has a more scientific name. The name is seasonal affective disorder. With more, here's meteorologist Dan Brunoff. New Yorkers have good reason to feel the winter blues. You've seen cloudy skies almost every day since December 1st. This can lead to seasonal affective disorder, or SAD. SAD shares many symptoms with depression, but there are telltale signs. The SAD almost always has the um, uh, characteristics of the increased weight, increased sleep, uh, and carbohydrate craving. Other forms of depression may have uh, those characteristics, but SAD always has it. What do you do if you're feeling the effects of SAD? Antidepressant medications have proven effective, and of course, more light helps too. And in fact, some patients respond only to light therapy, uh, but most people will respond to the medication management, which of course is less bulky and less time consuming than light therapy. About 25% of the population suffers from mild winters SAD, and an estimated 5% suffer from a more severe form of the disorder. For the Weather Channel, I'm meteorologist Dan Brunoff. Well, let's see now if this is going to be a mild winter, well, this week anyway. Here's Lisa with your forecast. You know, I looked out my window this morning, Vivian, and I saw some sunshine, and it just made me feel happy. Very, very happy. I'm not so happy when I look at the map, though. Uh, the trough out towards the east continues to deepen, drawing in more cold air from the Canadian territories. We are looking at a ridge that's going to build across the west. So if you want warm weather, hopefully you're in Pasadena, San Diego, or even the Bay Area. Uh, as this ridge continues to build, we will look for a path of onshore flow to be well to the north. So some dry weather for you in Seattle, in Portland, and Eureka. Right now in Eureka, California, it is raining. Uh, the rain has been heavy at times, but it's going to last. Up. It looks like today uh, will be the last day we see the wet weather in place. Uh, that system's going to be pulling away and look at a very sharp north to south flow with the jet stream. This means some of that cold air is going to be reaching all the way down to New Orleans, Mobile, Alabama. Get ready. Clean out the furnace, you guys. You haven't used it in a while. Let's skip over uh, Tuesday night because we all know that uh, we've got a cold night across the Midwest to deal with. Some changes, however, the cold air pushing a little further southward on Wednesday, but the bigger change will be this piece of energy pulling across the Colorado area. Denver, you may be looking at some snow on Wednesday, light accumulation. As soon as this this energy pulls away, you're going to be rebounding with the temperatures and that snow is going to be history. However, it's not going to be history for a while. On Thursday, we may be looking at a mix of rain and snow, even some sleet from Fort Smith to Little Rock, Arkansas. Even Memphis could get in on the action. Paducah, Kentucky, accumulating snow for you. Now, as we go through Thursday night, Atlanta, you may be looking at some snow. How much? Hard to say, but we think that some will accumulate. Now, out towards the Piedmont, it may be a mix of rain and snow for the Carolinas, but certainly up around Baltimore on Friday, it is very, very likely to be some accumulating snow. Another piece of energy pulling across the Great Lake tier. You know what that means, enhancement with the lake effect machine. But with the big ridge in place out towards the west, especially on Saturday, this is going to be a problem in the early morning hours. The central bay areas, the bay, uh, of course, used to this, uh, typically associated with high pressure. But if you're trying to get to some of your favorite ski resort areas, even Pocatello, Idaho, you're going to be dealing with a lot of fog, especially in the early morning hours. Now, on Sunday, much of the southern half of the country looking pretty dry. Look for some sunshine. But across the Great Lakes here, it's going to be cloudy. Look for lake effect snow, Baltimore. Um, D.C. as far as east as that, but certainly the more accumulating areas will be significantly in and around the Erie, Pennsylvania area, Crawford County, up around Watertown and Fort Drum, even Burlington, Vermont. And this continues as we go into Monday. Let's take a look at the temperatures. Colder weather. I want you to keep your eyes on this 20 degree isotherm. This line is the one that certainly is going to be the bigger change as it sinks further southward. So even though it's going to be 20s and that's freezing cold, it's going to feel a whole lot colder 
because of the wind chill factor. You've got to dress properly for this type of weather. Keep this in mind on Thursday if you're in St. Louis, or if you're in Cincinnati, keep this in mind on Thursday. Now look at this. On Friday, those 20s are dipping all the way down to Tennessee. So this means a very cold morning for you, but even colder with that wind chill than what the map is indicating here. As we go into the weekend, it's a long weekend for some of us because Monday, January 20th, is MLK Day. So those of you who are off across the Texas area, temperatures are on the mild side, lots of 50 a few 40s across the Red River Valley area. Don't go away. When we come back, more details for your lifestyle. But first, just a quick break, and we'll be back. Attention Medicare beneficiaries. Do you use an inhaler? Do you still have problems breathing? Do you use albuterol or other respiratory medications? If so, Medicare may cover a more effective liquid breathing medication. Call Star Medical at 1-800-530-0843. Call today to see if you qualify at 1-800-530-0843. Call now. Works like magic. Bleaching action whitens teeth like no toothpaste. Plus White's Whitener Gel bleaches away stains to whiten teeth. Plus White 5-Minute Whitener Gel. New scrubbing bubbles are about to bowl you over. Introducing Fizzit's Toilet Tablets. They hit the water working, releasing the power-packed bubbles that clean the bowl, lifting and loosening the toughest stains so you just brush and flush. No more lame liquids or spills, because Fizzit's are the new wave in toilet cleaning. Fizzit's Toilet Tablets, new from scrubbing bubbles. They work hard so you don't have to. S.C. Johnson, a family company. This is Hall's. And this is New Hall's Fruit Freezers. A whole new taste sensation from Hall's that'll give your dry, scratchy throat a cooling lift. New Hall's Fruit Breezers. Treat your throat. Tonight at 8 p.m., brace yourself for storm stories. Stranded. This guy was in the middle of nowhere. One man lost at sea for four months. It was just absolutely amazing. Find out how he survived the elements. Plus, see how Hurricane Hugo. A lot of people lost everything I had. Brought South Carolina to its knees. The water came just like you were standing in front of a fire hydrant. Watch a new series from the Weather Channel. Storm Stories, tonight at 8 p.m. What about Paris? Why not the Caribbean? How can planning your next trip be even better? Mexico? Knowing your trip could be free. Hawaii! Hawaii. Yes. Call now to request the City Advantage World MasterCard and you can earn free award travel plus get 8,000 bonus miles. And you can use your miles to fly on over 25 top airlines. You'll earn one mile for every dollar you spend on everyday purchases and on special purchases too. Call to request your card and 8,000 bonus miles. Plus, now your miles never expire as long as you make a purchase with your card at least once every three years. Soon, you'll be on the trip you plan. Use your miles to fly on over 25 top airlines, stay at the finest hotels worldwide, and drive with any major car rental company free. Call now to request your City Advantage World MasterCard and 8,000 bonus miles, and your next trip to almost anywhere could be free. Storm Stories, tonight at 8 on the Weather Channel. And now, here's your local on the 8s.